Hello viewers, me and team here. Uh, welcome to another Let's Play Civilization 5. Today we are going to be doing, well, another immortal, well, not another immortal game, but an immortal university game. Uh, basically, the way this works, and as you can see here, this is the uh, Civ Fanatics forums. Um, this is one of those club games. Uh, Club Immortal, he says, although I like the Immortal University name that I had as a host when I was hosting the series in Civilization 4. Anyway, this is a game start that anybody can play. He even references uh, strategy and tips here. And, um, yeah, this is the thread. You can see the uh, URL up at the top. And the start, and then you are given a save from which everyone can start the game. I have not played this game yet. So I thought, you know what, I'll uh, make this a live contribution and I'll bump the thread as I go while I'm updating videos. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's play Civilization V. Anyway, I've already taken the liberty of loading the save up here to uh, spare you guys some of the headache slash heartache slash face palms that are involved when you do that. I hope he has uh, placed quick turn timers on. If um, he is not, that King Morgan that is, then I will edit my INI to uh, enable quick combat before I get too far into the game. So that takes care of that. Let's go. I don't see anything uh, that would lead me away from settling in place. Uh, let's just have a quick look-see here. Always liked the American UA, and yes, I'm playing America again, but that's just what he happened to pick, and I wanted to do this game. So here I am. Anyway, this is a very uh, underestimated UA because you can just see so much further. And if you're fighting a neutral territory or enemy territory, the ability to see things that can attack you in the near future is just nice. Anyway, this game is on Immortal, as you saw. Um, it's on Pangea. So, I could, try, I could go for a number of approaches here, including just the quick conquesting of the entire map or other shenanigans. We'll see what I go for. Anyway, let's start with a... Huh. Well, actually, I have a number of uh, reasonably good improvable tiles, so I'll get started on a worker right away. I have agriculture. Really, I should be working for calendar and masonry. This is, uh... Plains River. Okay, so I, I don't even need mining to uh, make use of my specials right away, although I will want to research it. You know what, I'll research it on way to masonry and then go for calendar. We'll, we'll do it like that. I don't have any animal husbandry resources yet, so that'll be the opening. On to the next turn. And yeah, I don't know what was up with that fog settings in the uh, previous Let's Play, but I actually like the black fog look better anyway. So we're going with that this game. And hopefully that improves performance slightly as well. We'll see. I'm always a little bit skeptical when it comes to that. And sure enough, we are on immortal or barbarian camps already. Careful moving the settlers around at the start, right? Ha. Let's grab that ruin. And we get a map. Ho oh, ho. You kidding me? We have Mongolia right next to us. Isn't that PG? That just means that I need to uh, dole out some death. The Mongols are not the nicest people in the world. Oh, it's Gandhi. Hi. Let's discuss something. How about a pact of cooperation? Okay, fine. Yeah, AIs with pact of cooperation have a bias towards not declaring on you and owning your face. But it just depends. Can we get this worker out sometime this year? That's better. I'd rather work stronger tiles than grow while working on improved tiles. That might be a holdover, an inappropriate holdover from Civ 4, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think the bonus happy and the better tile sooner is advantageous, especially since I'm going to be able to work things right away. Anyway, continuing onward. This looks like one of those games where I'm definitely going to want to uh, take out the Mongols early, though. I had, actually don't have a lot of experience fighting them as AIs, but oh man, is that Civ ridiculous. Ha! Now that they're an official release, I can talk about them. They are crazy viewers. 
they have a uh, bonus to um, taking city states as part of the unique ability. Their uh, mounted gets more movement, and their great generals can move further as well, the cons. So they're all about war, and they boost the strongest unit in the game at this point in time, the uh, horse-based units. And yeah, I'm just going crazy with the Skype status updates down there. That's nice. Uh, try to remember to turn that off for future videos. Hello, Kathy. You look different in every version of Civ. It's always interesting. She's speaking to me in Russian. That's awesome. You don't want a pact of cooperation. Well, I've got a treaty in my pocket, Kathy. I'm not just happy to see you. It's a treaty, I, I swear. What? It's better than Caesar's salad joke from Civ 4. At least I think so, anyway. Yeah, and Pangea, just like the last game, you tend to meet your uh, AI friends quickly. Okay, come on. There we go. Still not a fan of the time we have to wait between turns. I don't know, maybe I just have patience issues. Or like, I know I have patience issues, but even so. Come on. Onward we go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's build a monument. And upgrade the what eat. I don't know how you can put strategy layer things on. Maybe that's not an option any longer. Maybe I just haven't reviewed the hotkeys in Civilopedia enough. I don't know. I know that there's no convenient way to queue up like there used to be, where you just hold shift and add. Man, I hope they add that. Oh, and the reason I'm going for a monument, you get some faster border expansions, but also I just want to get some social policy sooner. I was thinking about making this game one of those games where I go tradition and try to wonder spam, but I don't think that's going to be viable with uh, the con right next to me. So this might have to be one of those uh, slaughterhouse games. And on Pangea, that's pretty appropriate. Just start running for AI capitals, beat them down, move to the next one. In fact, maybe after masonry... Yeah. Maybe... Oh, I hate zones of control sometimes. I'm just going to stay there. Maybe after masonry I'll go animal husbandry just to see if I have any uh, horsemen of death available to me. Oh yeah, they left the animations on. Well, alright. In, in future games, viewers, I will be... Uh, cutting that feature one way or another. Or not in future games, in future videos. I will uh, play with the settings. Uh, I think for this session I'll leave it on, but then uh, after I'm done with this current play session, I'm going to disable it. Um, yeah, we'll work the mine. Oh, we're already working the mine. Well, let's work the mine more appropriately. <sighs> Whoa, easy. Because I'm not, I'm not going to throw down too much, I don't think, in my first set of videos here. And if I do, oh well, we get to see some kill shots. Hi, Genghis Khan. Or Temujin. As we learned you are in the Genghis Khan Clan of the Grey Wolf series. I always liked the Mongol music. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, let's try for a pact of cooperation. Yeah. How would a pact of secrecy against, um, Gandhi? Ha! No. Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's do what we can. Let's dogpile Genghis Khan, because I don't like him when he's not when I'm not controlling him. Even if it's just to get him back for Civ 4 conduct, that's good enough reason for me. I don't need to be rational about this. I don't know how happy. Anyway, let's go. Monument is done. I should probably start defending myself because barbarians are going to be in my eye in like two seconds here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to build a second warrior and uh, keep this guy a little bit closer to home, I think, than he is at present. I may adopt a policy. 
I'm probably going to go down the honor path again, but this time see it through. Um, let's see here. Actually, I might want to take this right away for the combat bonus against barbarians. And I, th I really think I've settled on uh, slaughter, so let's let's go straight for the slaughter. Slaughter is good. I like slaughter. It often leads to either yummy meat types of foods or to uh, victory. And either of those things are acceptable outcomes to me. So there you have it. Slaughter wins. Definitely want to get the uh, marble up soon-ish. Let's cross over here. Because that will improve my gold income and my happiness. Hopefully I forces in the fat cross, but that wouldn't really be fair to expect that. In fact, it would kind of be bogus. I think the next thing I will take is a great general. I don't like you, Siamese. I never liked you. Not even from the start. I don't think against, you know, Siamese in general, but in Civ, I absolutely do. That guy's annoying. He buys up city-states that you like, and he expands a lot. And I don't like either of those things. So, yeah, he can suck a big one from me. Ooh, I can get a wheat tile soon. Oh, okay, sure. Let us work together until it's time to kill you. So, okay, I have a... A uh, dog pile packed on uh, GK here, and a pact of cooperation with the annoying Siamese, which I will eventually break. But you know, if he wants to work with me until he's the last target, so be it. I can I can live with that. Is this flat land, yes, or yeah, Plains River. So don't defend on that tile unless you like death of yourself. Not not to be confused with death of other things. Anyway, can I get into the city? I don't like that you have to click on it twice sometimes. Yeah, I'll grow, because I'll want to be working multiple hammer, hammer tiles, and this is pretty much the only way to do that. So, emphasize food a little bit here, now that I have some workerage going. And, I don't know. I guess I can just build more warriors or workers. Um, Workers probably be overkill. Maybe not. If I need to build a second city for horses, it wouldn't be. So, I'll start on it now. And I'm just going to leave this guy roving here. Or no, I can explore with them now that I have another one to defend against the barbarians. No. No. No! You moron! Yes, there we go. <laughs> no real point getting open borders this early, but if the AI wants them, by all means, milk them for money. There's no reason not to do it, and the higher the difficulty, the more money they seem to have for you. So really, there's no incentive to do anything else than milk them for money. In fact, I should continually milk them for more money, using luxury resources once I have them hooked up. Please tell me I have horses. Haha! <laughs> Imbalance. Two horse. That's not a lot of horse. And there's four up there. That's probably the one I should go for. Well, okay, I will let my city grow to three and then build a settler. Also, it's time to research um, AI death, otherwise known as horseback riding. And who is this? I don't know. It's, it's green. I forget who's green. It doesn't matter who's green. I'm just going to put my warrior up there for forward advanced barb scouts. Oh! Hi. You want to pack the secrecy against Genghis Khan? Ah, you suck. Fine, I'll take a pack the secrecy against you when I get the chance. If you don't want to hang out with the cool kids, then I'm going to isolate you and talk about you behind your back so that the whole school hates you. Or something. Is that how that works? I don't know how that works. Anyway, I am out of time, so I will see you in the next game, not video, yes, the next video of yours, the me and team signing off.